I hate, always hate sounding like an old fart, but I am an old fart now. People have got it into their heads that I actually like old stuff or old cars, but I, I actually don't. I like, I like the history of cars because it is a warning and it tells us where we've come from. And Plato said, I think it was Plato, that if you don't learn from that, you will keep repeating it. You'll make the same mistakes. So I do find it fascinating. There's lots of great stories that go with the development of the car and the way the car industry builds up. There's lots of, there's lots of subterfuge and skullduggery and monogance, as the French would say. But I don't actually like driving old cars. They're terrible. And I'm always amazed when people, you know, they say, what, what era of the, what was the golden age of the car? And I think, well, it's now, because they're better now. And I never drive an old car and think that there is some, some quality or some attribute they have that has been lost to us and that I wish we could have in a modern car. Except possibly that old cars had nice thin pillars and relatively large glass areas. So all-round visibility is quite nice in something like a Citroen DS or an old Rover P6 or something like that. But on the other hand, if you crash it into a dish, it'll kill you because the roof isn't strong enough. So I, I, I just don't drive old cars and think, wow, I wish all cars could be like this because I don't. Modern cars are fantastic. Is there anything that's better in the olden days than no. they are now? Uh, yes, kettles and American pickup trucks. Electric kettles definitely lasted longer 10 years ago. I think actually mobile phone signals might have been better in about 2002. Between sort of 1999 and 2002, I'm convinced my phone didn't cut me off so often. Electric kettles were better made and American pickup trucks looked better in the 70s and 80s, but they weren't better vehicles. They were hopeless. They're much better now. Uh, otherwise, I think the past is a, is a foreign country full of dirt and disease and disappointment and misery and no internet. I mean, imagine not having the internet. That That's the other great thing about the internet is you can't fill it up, can you? It's, it's always got some more space. It just goes on and on into the ether.